Hi, right, here we are, guys. Uh, John Moore, back again. Part six of Let's Make It Three. This is take two. <laughs> First take, I ran out of space in the memory card. Forgot to clear the memory card. Anyway, <clears throat> all I've done is we've uh, we've we've got our tree from the last stage. Have it trimmed down, and I started coating it with uh, watered down PVA glue. It's uh, three parts water, one part PVA, and a nice little mister. I started right in the inside because we want to layer it out and get that all nicely soaked. There we go. I have everything now coated in PVA glue. Just brilliant. The dog and all is coated in PVA glue. He doesn't like it. You don't understand? <laughs> Right, so once you've everybody coated in PVA glue, sorry, everything coated in PVA glue, <laughs> you just leave it down for a couple of seconds. Just let that, you know, sit in, a bit of tissue, keep it, you know, wiping it up off the end. Right, then it's ideal to get two containers. What good containers, only for the, the box off the uh, Panzer three will do perfect for that. Right, we've got our tray. Right, what are we going to use for the foliage? There are many, many things you can use for the foliage. Um, like I said, you, uh, Woodland Scenics is one company that I know of that can, they do uh, leaves, basically. Scale, down to scale leaves. Um, you can get little punchers. You can punch out a crepe pepper or out of leaves and you can make your own leaf. Um, but for covering a tree this size, you'd want to have started about six months ago making the little leaves. Um, you can use what I use on this. Um, lichen, lichen, whatever you want to call it. Moss. Um, you can make clump foliage from sponge. You know, get put a sponge, put it through a food blender, get it up really small, bit of... Uh, colour it through it and you end up with a really small thing and you, you, you could stick it on with that. I'm actually going to use um, a simple thing, I'm going to use parsley. Yes, it will lose its colour over time, but um, with plenty of PVA glue giving it a, a sealing coat and everything else, it might preserve it longer than uh, you actually think. And also, <clears throat> you can always touch it up with uh, an airbrush. Hopefully I'll have an airbrush by then, you never know. Anyway, right, we've got it nicely soaked in our PVA. The reason I said two boxes is because we're going to turn it upside down and we're going to start on the inside. All right. And the second box will just catch all, or the first box will just catch all the uh, thing. Well, we want this one to first layer. It'll probably take a couple of... Uh, goes to get it all done right get this layer in let it let it dry and set give it another layer but from this layer you should we should really kind of get the idea on on how it's going to build up I mean, move it around you want it to stick to all that uh, cocoa gut husk so Remember, this is only just going to be the first layer, and already you can see how it's kind of how it's kind of working out. The reason with the coconut husk being brown, it's like the leaf or the the, the twig structure underneath the leaves. Right. Like I said, you loads of parsley, and it was. Very cheap. I got two nice 11 gram uh, containers of it for under a euro in Tesco's. So, you know, it's not that expensive at all. And what I was actually looking for was a cheaper method again, but I was looking for one of the big refill bags. I spotted them there last week. They weren't there this week. Somebody else is making all the trees, I think. But anyway, all right, there's our first layer on, and we just we just give it a shake. We lose some of our bits and pieces, so what? 
All the little areas. <laughs> Stop saying, oh my god, Abby. It's my daughter here beside me, and she's uh, oohing and aahing the whole time here. Whether she's impressed or she thinks I'm just making a mess, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, tease it all back out again. It's going to start, because it's wet, it's going to start loosening them away from stuff. So, we just leave that dry now for a while. I know it looks horrible. Yes, it does look horrible. But, like I said, that's just the first go of the uh, the leaves. It's going to get um, a second and maybe even a third blast of them. Um, it's got, you've got to put it aside for a while, leave it dry. But I think even from that, considering you are going to cut away anything excess, you can see that it's actually going to be quite a grand tree. Now, oh. the finished tree I will be sort of uh, revealing in the diorama, so stay tuned for that. Um, I've got the pens or three done for it, to do a kitchen for it, and a few more bits and pieces, but there's the tree. and. Like I said, any more I'm doing to the tree is just touch-ups, adding a bit more greens and tidying off this. So that's basically how I do a tree. If you like it, push the unlike button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And uh, leave a comment if you think that there might be a better way or you like what I do or think that, you know, anything, anything at all. I always answer the comments, even if it's just a thank you. So, do more till the next time. Talk to you again. Enjoy it. You're modelling. Good luck. <laughs>